Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from msflights.net. Today we're going to be looking at the FSD server and how to get you set up and flying on it. So you should have FSD downloaded. Uh, there's three things you need. FSD proxy, vPilot and the model matching rule set made by November 404. So with all those downloaded, just go ahead and install your BFS SG FSD proxy. There we go, that's that done. Okay, so now you need to, first thing you need to do, it's find the FSD icon on your desktop and you're going to have to change your target location. So hold on, let me go find that one. Okay, so now that we've found that, you want to go to target, delete what's there and you can just copy and paste from the video description your new target. You have to put this target in, including quotation marks. If you don't do it correctly, it will not connect to the server. As you can see there, with everything, and then the remote host ru.servbeer.com. Like I say, the link for that will be as a copy and paste down in the description of this video. Okay, that's that done. So, uh, we'll go ahead and load into FSX just now. So when you first open up the proxy here, you, you should see localhost 6809 and then ru.servbeer.com 6809 down the bottom here. Everything should be red as nothing is connected at the minute. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up vPilot. It's probably the best thing to do. And here we go. So general. So what do you want to do in here? CID MSF pilot, all one word. Caps, I presume it, it's case sensitive, so it's best just in caps. Exactly the same here for the password. Full name, self-explanatory, type your name. And home airport. Your home airport doesn't particularly matter to anyone else other than yourself, so I just choose the closest airport, airport to me. Scroll down, hit local proxy, and then hit apply. Oh, sorry, my mistake. Go in, <laughs> so in vPilot here. settings there we go so we've got everything here set up and then audio just select your microphone and your speakers uh, the at the minute vpilot does not connect to the ms flights team speak we're working on something for that so what you're going to do here in model matching go i'm just going to remove these so i can show you how how it's done from scratch so add custom files and you want to hit this one fsx default aircraft msf.vmr Hit open, you'll see it on the list on the left. Go to apply, you're done. These yellow areas are because I haven't booted up FSX yet, which I'm going to do now. So bear with me whilst I do that one. Okay, so we're loaded in, chosen the airfield, chosen the aircraft. Hit start proxy, and this bottom part here should go yellow. Now, all you need to do, hit connect. Choose your type code. Mike has made a really handy reference card using the default model matching set that he created. So here it is. This is a printable version, link in the description. You want to choose the aircraft that is the closest match to yours. It doesn't have any effect on yourself. This is for the benefit of other people flying with you. So I am in the Phenom 100 and the closest default is probably going to be the Lear 45. So LJ45 is what I'm going to type in. And then hit connect and you're done you're connected to the fsd server this proxy should go green you can now minimize all of this you you don't need it perfect if you did want to change your type code say for instance i'm still in the same aircraft i just disconnect hit connect again type in a new type code so let's go be58 which is the baron 58 connect there you go i'm now reconnected to the server I am still in the same aircraft, but if you were in the server with me, you would see me represented as a Baron 58. So that's it. I hope you found the video useful um, and we'll see you in the FSD server soon, hopefully. Any questions, don't hesitate to find myself, Ed, on the TeamSpeak or any of the other operators and we'll be happy to give you a hand.